Hi everyone, welcome to the fifth lesson in the pseudocode series. We're going to take a look at arrays. In previous lessons, we have looked at lists in Python. And in Python, you could have a list that's made up of a float or various strings or integers, and you can mix and match. An array is different though. All of the data inside an array has to be of the same type. So you could have an array that's made up entirely of strings or you could have an array of type int, but you wouldn't mix data types. So please bear that in mind when you're thinking about how to answer exam questions. We use the key term array to declare our array. In the example, array names five means that we've got an array. It is called names and it's of size five. The size is declared before we run the program and it's said to be static. That means at runtime we can't change that to an array that's got 10 items or 15. It's got to stay of size 5. Each item within an array has an index and it starts at 0 and can go up in our case to 4. It's always one less than the size of the array. In our example, if we wanted to access Ben, we'd have to use names and in square brackets index 1. A 2D array is very similar to a 1D array apart from we have to specify both a row and a column. So array board 8 comma 8 is a 2D array that has 8 rows and 8 columns. How do you think they might be numbered in this particular example? Have a think Hopefully you worked out that we'd go from 0 to 7 for both the row and the column. In this exam question, we've got an array. It's been declared as having a name of data and it's got 16 rows followed by 11 columns. To access data in a 2D array, quite often we can use a for loop because a for loop is count controlled and we know exactly how many rows or columns there are in an array we can specify how many loops we'd like to go through so in our example I've highlighted column 2 the third column along if we wanted to print that data out we could use a for loop like in the example so for row equals 0 to 15 print data row so we'd loop through 0 to 15 and then print column 2. It's very subtly different from Python where we would use square brackets to separate the row and the column. Next step, lesson 3 exercises or take a look at the string handling video 